tonight on our great, great American panel. He is a nationally syndicated radio talk show host, Fox News contributor. Mike Gallagher's here. He, a Democratic pollster, Fox News contributor, Doug Schoen. She, an entrepreneur, media personality, CEO of AMA Productions, Amelia Antonetti is here. And good to see you all. You know what he's trying to do, by the way? Uh -oh. He's trying to get a slot in all 50 states for an independent to run third party. Dope. He is going to split the anti-Obama no, vote. He is going to put a candidate on the ballot to take on a corrupt broken Ooh. system. Anyone who steps forward, somebody like Howard Schultz, David Petraeus, somebody who can and bring you us split together. the anti-Obama no, vote and Ross, you elect Obama. Ross Perot, who's the last independent, you who then is a centrist, who so even right. leave from It's not Bush what's right, right for the country. I no, no, right right for the wrong, country. Right. Number one rule of business, do what's right for the brand. Do what's right, right for the country, that is not what's but right for the country. He is, he is, he is, though. Provide he is. choice. He is, he knows what he's doing. He's going to. He's trying to do exactly what you say he's going to do. Don't These these Democrats, they're devious. They know what they're doing. I said Barack Obama with Pat Cadell shouldn't run, had the guts to take on a Democratic president. He did. Like, have I you mean, said but Republicans shouldn't run? I don't think so. Uh, look, I never bought the argument that Ross Perot split the votes evenly. He Democrats did. Democrats were so I, 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 I don't believe it, but I will tell you this will ensure Obama four more okay. years. This is a we bad idea. We can win the election because there's so much... No, you, you, I, it, no. you know it's I am an independent. You can't win the election. Yes, no. we can because Ross Perot led the race for four months, John Anderson Hold in on. 1980 led the happen. race. People want alternatives. It doesn't alternatives. happen. It doesn't but happen. Alternatives. We don't care about a democracy, one. not Russia. Right. Yeah, we've got we got about six alternatives right now that people are going to decide in South Carolina. There's alternatives. You don't have to come up with some cockamamie scheme to have to split oh, the wait, vote. I, I disagree with that. I think There's strong field. Mitt Romney is a good candidate. I think Newt Gingrich is a strong candidate. Uh, I think Rick Santorum is a strong candidate. Right. I think Governor Perry is a much better governor than he's been a candidate. I love him. I think he could have, I would have handled his campaign the, the differently, voters but he'd be, he'd be an infinitely better president than Obama. The voters disagree. Turnout from Republicans is down. They have net no, it's actually net turnout is up. up. No, it's because the independents are coming out, not the Republicans. Okay, but the, it's up they, because people are motivated. Go ahead. Absolutely. We, we've had more now absentee ballots than ever in history, people applying for the absentee ballot. People are focused in this on this election like never before. This is going to be a historic, historically viewed election. And uh, but, he, but he may poison the well. I, no, no, I, try, I know Doug is sincere. I know you're sincere because you're a good I'm guy. Sincere. I know that, but you you are going to cause smile. look look what, what don't you see you smile no, I, maybe that's the grin that Gallagher I told you what I say about being devious yeah, I, I mean, know what they're, they're doing you've got that devious little grin on your face we can change Michelle. America we can promote things like we just Wilson's, had change remember the hope and change the one percent plan from Connie Mack that you said I should be out of business if we had Democrats who die by the way all of these Republicans are going to eliminate Obamacare we can't afford it you agree we can't afford it they uh, rammed it through they're going to cut back spending they're going to deal with entitlements compromise Sean we're not getting it from the Republicans Compromise to fifteen, sixteen trillion dollars in debt. This country That's is why bankrupt. A Democratic chief of staff, Erskine Bowles, with Alan Simpson, push uh, Bowles Simpson. Barack Obama and the Republicans didn't support it. Last word. This segment. This is going to be the most critical time in our lifetime, absolutely right. hands down, for jobs, the economy, and, and this, our direction. And you will split the vote. I'm right. We, you, you absolutely sure. will split I'm the vote. I'm right. We say it all the time that this is the most so important election of our lifetime. This is too serious a time to play games. Happen. You don't play games with splitting votes and we doing independent nonsense. Right, it's not right. going to happen. Who am I now? <laughs> Don't do it. Be careful. Why? I'll be beaten up. Or the great, great, great American <laughs> panel next.